Creating a new profile. This video seeks to guide you through the process of creating a profile on the Engineering Council of South Africa's Self Service Portal. To access the ECSA Self Service Portal, please go on to the ECSA website. Under the Continuing Professional Development tab, please click on ECSA Online Login. Alternatively, go to External Links and click on ECSA Online. Once you are on the landing page of the portal, you will see the five modules that speak to the registration, professional development, accreditation and training, legal and compliance, as well as queries and complaints. To start your process of creating a profile, click Sign Up or Sign In. You will be directed to a new landing page. If you are using the portal for the first time and do not have a profile with ECSA, do not create an account if you already have one. If you are not sure if you have one, please send an email to engineer at ecsa.co.za for the ECSA team to assist. Click on Become Registered. On the left-hand side, you will see a table requiring your username, password, as well as the code on the screen, then click Register. Please use the email address that is linked to your ECSA profile. Do not use a new one. You will be directed to a new page that requires you to read the terms and conditions as well as agree to them by clicking here. Once you confirm, you can start populating the fields with required information. Kindly note, the date of birth field will only take dates for persons older than 17 years and younger than 100 years. You will not be able to complete creating the profile if your dates do not fall within this grouping. The field for searching for country allows you to select South Africa or an international country where you are based. Indicate if you are a South African citizen or not. If you are a SA citizen, add your ID number. If you are a non-South African citizen, add your passport number, country of origin, as well as the passport expiration date. Once you click on Update, your name will show at the top right corner. If you click on your name, a new page will open, confirming that your profile has been successfully updated. On this page, you will be able to manage your profile by changing your email, password or two-factor authenticators if you wish. You can go back to the home page by clicking Home or Applications and you will then be able to use the portal for registration application. Managing your registration through continuing professional development, generating your invoice, as well as other services available on the portal. 